On to the optic chiasm and optic tract, two important white matter structures in the visual system. So let's start off with the human visual pathway. The optic chiasm and the optic tract are white matter components of the long journey from the retina in the eye to the visual cortex. As you should recall from earlier in this course, the visual system is a contralateral arrangement so that the right side of visual space is sent to the left visual cortex and vice versa. Take the right side of visual space as an example, so focus your attention here. Some of this information is sent to the outside part of the left eye and the inside portion of the right, like this. The information is sent along the optic nerve to the brain, but the left retina pathway stays on the left-hand side of the brain, while the right retina pathway crosses over so that the information about right visual space gets shuffled over to the left hemisphere, like this. This area of crossover is called the optic chiasm, and you can see it right here on the diagram. Before the axons reach the optic chiasm, they travel in the optic nerve, shown here, while after the optic chiasm, when the pathway is embedded in the brain, it's called the optic tract, shown here. So let's have a look at these white matter structures in the rat brain. If we flip the brain over and look at its ventral surface, we can see a little bit of the optic nerve where it enters the brain, right here. Although it's difficult to see in this section because it's unstained. Remember that an unstained brain looks mostly beige. The optic chiasm is right here, just posterior to the optic nerve. Now, if we were to section the brain in between, between these two lines, we would get a series of sections that looks like this. The optic chiasm is, is located at the most ventral surface of the brain and it appears as a little white stripe right here. So this is the first section of our set where the optic chiasm is clearly visible and it's visible in all the sections following that up until around here. Now it's a little bit difficult to see, so let's zoom in a little bit more closely. If we take a closer look at some of these sections, it's easier to find the optic chiasm as well as how to learn how to distinguish this from the optic tract. So if we take this section here, at the level of the red arrow, shown on the right, this is near the anterior end of our collection of sections. Now, you can see the optic chiasm right here, here at the ventral surface of the brain. If we move to a section that's indicated here by the green arrow, moving in a more posterior direction, we can see that the optic chiasm is in the same position right here at the ventral surface, but its appearance changes a little bit in that it's slightly larger than it was in the more anterior section. The section indicated by the blue arrow right here is the last section in our collection that actually has a visible optic chiasm, which you can see here. Now it's still located at the most ventral surface, which is the same story as I've been telling you all along, but you should notice that it's larger than it is in earlier sections, and it's thinner in the middle than it is at the edges. Now if we look at the section that's right next door to this one in our collection, the optic chiasm actually separates, so it's not the optic chiasm anymore. This is called the optic tract, and it's visible again on the ventral surface, but here we have a left and right side. If we keep moving in a posterior direction, we can see uh, that the optic tract separates as it moves in a lateral and slightly dorsal direction um, throughout the brain, which you can see right here. So you should be armed with enough information to be able to determine what the, where the optic chiasm is and how to distinguish this from the optic tract. 